In this video, we'll look at the mole. The mole is a unit of measurement that's used to measure the amount of a chemical substance. A mole of a substance has the same number of particles as 12 grams of carbon-12. The number of particles, that's atoms, ions or molecules, in a mole is equal to Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So one mole of any substance has 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. So let's try some examples. How many hydrogen atoms are contained in one mole of ethanol? Now most students will look at the formula for ethanol and they'll count up the number of hydrogen atoms. There's five here and one here and they'll write the answer down as six. Now the mistake they're making is they're not thinking of how many particles there are in a mole. So let's go through this question. So one molecule of ethanol, C2H5OH, has six hydrogen atoms. So that's one molecule. But in one mole of ethanol, we have Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So in one mole of ethanol, we have to multiply Avogadro's number times 6 because one molecule has 6 hydrogen atoms. So if you multiply Avogadro's number by 6, we get the total number of hydrogen atoms which is 3.6 times 10 to the 24. Let's try another example. What is the total number of nitrogen atoms in 2 moles of NH4NO3, which is ammonium nitrate? One molecule of ammonium nitrate has 2 nitrogen atoms. But the question is asking for the number of nitrogen atoms in two moles. So two moles of ammonium nitrate has four times Avogadro's number, which equals 2.40 times 10 to the 24. The reason we are multiplying by four is one mole would have two times Avogadro's number because each molecule has two nitrogen atoms. So one mole would have two times Avogadro's number and two moles has four times Avogadro's number of nitrogen atoms. Okay, next example. How many oxygen atoms are there in 0 0.20 moles of ethanoic acid, CH3COOH? One molecule of ethanoic acid has two oxygen atoms. So one mole of ethanoic acid has two times Avogadro's number of oxygen atoms, which is 1.20 times 10 to the 24 oxygen atoms. Now the question is asking for 0 0.20 moles, so 0 0.20 moles of ethanoic acid has, and we divide this number that we've just calculated, we divide that by 0 0.20, which gives us 2.4 times 10 to the 23 oxygen atoms. The next example is asking, what is the mass in grams of one molecule of ethene, C2H6? Well, one mole of ethene contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. And the molar mass of ethene is 30.08 grams per mole. So if we want to know the mass of one molecule, we divide the molar mass by Avogadro's number, and that will give us 5.00 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. The next two examples are multiple choice questions. So the first one, which contains the same number of ions as the value of Avogadro's constant? So we know that Avogadro's constant is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So A, 0 0.5 moles of NaCl, B, 0 0.5 moles of MgCl2, C, 1.0 moles of Na2O, or D, 1.0 moles of MgO. So I've added this information here to help us figure out the answer. Let's start with A, 0 0.5 moles of NaCl, sodium chloride. So sodium chloride consists of two ions, Na plus and Cl negative. So if we have half a mole of it, we need to multiply that times two. So I've multiplied it by two to give us one mole of ions and one mole of ions is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 ions. So A is the correct answer. But let's just look at the next three examples. So for B, we have 0 0.5 moles of MgCl2, magnesium chloride. This is made up of an Mg2 plus ion and two Cl negative ions. So for each mole, we'll have three ions. So we have 0 0.5 moles. 
we multiply 0.5 by 3 to give us 1.5 moles of ions and then we multiply 1.5 times Avogadro's constant to give us 9.03 times 10 to the 23 ions. Moving on to C, we have one mole of sodium oxide, Na2O, and this is made up of two Na plus ions and one O2 negative ions. So we multiply this one mole by three to give us three moles of ions. And then we multiply Avogadro's number by three to give us 1.80 times 10 to the 24 ions. And finally for D, we have one mole of magnesium oxide. And this is made up of Mg2 plus and O2 negative. So that's two ions. We multiply this one mole by two to give us two moles of ions. And then we multiply the two by Avogadro's constant to give us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 ions. And the final example is a multiple choice question again. And I've added this information here to help us figure out the answer. So Avogadro's constant has the same value as the number of A molecules in one mole of solid iodine. So one mole of solid iodine has one mole of I2 molecules. So that equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So again, the answer is A. But we look at the next three answers. So for B, we have atoms in one mole of chlorine gas. Now, chlorine gas is diatomic. So one mole of chlorine gas consists of two moles of chlorine atoms. So therefore, we multiply Avogadro's number by 2, which gives us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 atoms. So moving on to C, we have ions in one mole of solid potassium bromide. Potassium bromide is made up of K plus and Br negative ions. So we multiply this one mole by two to give us two moles of ions. And then we multiply that by Avogadro's number to give us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 ions. And finally, D, protons in one mole of helium gas. Helium is atomic number two. So therefore, each atom has two protons. So therefore, we multiply this one by two to give us two moles of protons. And then we multiply the two by Avogadro's number to give us 1.20 times 10 to the 24 protons.